Good day. This is Gabe Hamda. We're going to share a brief audio clip uh, on Scaled Agile product owner, product manager training for people who are interested in participating in this training. I'll be having a conversation with Peter Baverso, who is the facilitator of this course. And I encourage uh, our audience to have your inner ears on uh, to kind of pay attention and understand what this program is about. With that said, Peter, if you don't mind introducing yourself, and then you can just, uh, you know, tell us um, your credential, what you've been doing, and, uh, you know, why you are doing this course. Sure. Well, thanks, Gabe. I'm very excited to be here and to discuss the Scaled Agile Frameworks product owner product management course and the what, why, and how of that program. Uh, I've been working in the lean agile space, if you will, for probably about 20 years or so. Um, spending a lot of time working in organizations, either in government, uh, small enterprises, large enterprises, really helping them understand uh, the value of being able to uh, think more nimbly and move move faster to respond to market needs. Uh, I was fortunate enough to work with the United States Marine Corps for about a decade, the most agile organization on the planet, uh, where I learned quite a bit about what happens behind the scenes in terms of facilitating this, this kind of more agile, nimble way of working. And I think the scaled agile framework really lends itself nicely to uh, that way of thinking and that mindset. Um, I've facilitated training and learning for uh, almost 20 years as well at the university level and again in, at the organizational level. So I'm really excited to be here to talk about the product on a product manager course uh, offered through the Scaled Agile organization. Wonderful. Peter, thank you so much. Let me tell you, you know, people come to a training program for three main reasons. Number one, sometimes it's just something they want to do more internally driven or they are fascinated by the subject matter or the instructor is just fantastically fabulous and there is just insight they get from the instructor. So Peter, you facilitated this training class in the past and what I'm hearing from the participants is they are very impressed with your presentation. So um, that's why we have you here. So with that said, please give us insight as to the what of Scaled Agile Product Owner Product Manager Training. What is it? Well, thanks, Gabe. Uh, you know, it's really interesting. I mentioned that I worked with the Marine Corps for, for a decade and there I was responsible for training products. So I was really intimately involved with this, this idea of product ownership and product, product management. If I think about the Scaled Agile Framework for Lean Enterprises, which is the long title for, for the Scaled Agile Framework or what we would colloquially call SAFE. So the Scaled Agile Framework shortened to, to SAFE. It's really a comprehensive compendium or collection of, I'll say evidence-based agile practices that have worked in organizations. So I've seen these work in, in many organizations and I'm particularly fond of this particular course because what it does is it provides a bridge for project managers. And I, I'm a project manager too. I have, I'm a PMP, so project management professional, but it provides a bridge for those of us that have worked in project management for so many years into this world of product. And, you know, agile is more than a buzzword, products are more than a buzzword as well. So as we're transitioning from this idea of projects where we're really focused on, on managing coordination and the interactions of, of the people that are working on the project plan, now we're focusing on the product and the interactions of the customers with that product. So it really gives us a much more of a product and customer focus. So I'm really excited about this particular course and, and in terms of the what, it really gives you, gives really participants the skills and the confidence to take what they've learned in the course and apply it on it, you know, in their day-to-day -day work. Wonderful. 
Now, Peter, uh, you know, there are different kinds of people who come to this class, you know, uh, you know, some just want to gain knowledge and some want to, you know, apply to solve a problem and some want to innovate. So just all in all, you know, why would someone want to take this class? You know, someone may just want to improve their skills or they work in a larger corporation. So if you can talk about the why and the benefits of this class, I appreciate you. Sure. So I, I mentioned the benefits to, to project managers, but I would also say that the, the course benefits uh, the small enterprise, small business, entrepreneurs as well, because really what it does is it gives me a lens into a systematic way to manage my business, manage my organization, really actually to help uh, facilitate collaborate across, collaboration across teams to deliver things that matter to our customers. Instead of really delivering again against the project plan, I'm really focusing on what's going to matter most to the customers. But beyond that, I think the things, the real why behind this course and, and some of the others in this the agile space are really, what it does is it gives permission to, to, the, to people to really question the way we've always done things. You know, so for those of us that have worked in organizations for, for many years, you know, we we all know we, we can see where the where, where the challenges are, but what it does is it really gives us permission to challenge some of those like strongly held beliefs of the way things have always been done. Um, so, again, analysts, project managers, entrepreneurs, uh, people that have been working in in management for some period of time, it really equips us to look at our work in a very different way. Um, the other thing it does is it. It helps me and, and others say, oh, well, you know, we've been focused so much on our piece of the process for so long. It again, gives me the opportunity to reach across the aisle or the silos or stovepipes, as we might say, uh, to collaborate in ways to better serve our customers' needs. Uh, and then it really addresses the conflict that we often see in terms of everything being number one, the, the biggest priority. So again, it gives me the skills and gives those that participants the skills to say, well, like, how am I going to really negotiate these priorities so that everything isn't, isn't number one or everything isn't the top priority. So I would say those are the big whys and the, the big reasons for, for wanting to one, learn, but also then practice these, what you learn in, in your day-to-day -day work. Wonderful. You know, Peter, uh, one of my takeaways from just listening to the why is the fact that this course enables you to look at issues and problems differently. And when we look at problems differently, we come up with brand new solutions or innovative solutions. So I love it. So you're right, Gabe. Oh, yes. Let me just um, add Please. to that. What it really does is it shines the light on on our attitudes, incentives, and the processes that, that, that we know sometimes are broken, and yes. then it allows us to look at them in different ways. Wonderful. Hey, shine a light. So this is shine a class a light. that shines a, <laughs> shine a light. So uh, Peter, I understand you know, there are exams and certificates and credential involved in this. So do you mind maybe just kind of shedding a light on on all the good stuff related to an exam following this and membership in a scale agile framework organization and the credential and certificate process. Sure, so the, the course actually provides you the opportunity to um, sit for the certified product owner, product manager certification through Scaled Agile. So as part of that certification, uh, you're invited to complete the exam which is a closed book exam consisting of 60 questions um, in which you have 120 minutes or two hours to complete the exam. So it's a certification in addition to the 15 hours of uh, professional development units available to those that have a, one of the PMI, the Project Management Institute uh, certification. So it's also worth 15 hours of uh, PDUs so the kind of the end product or one of the, the products is, is professional recognition through certification. 
Um, but really the, what the course does, the course is delivered uh, remotely over four days, so four half days, using a uh, video and online collaboration tool such as Zoom. So typically we use Zoom um, unless, unless the organization uh, has a preferred tool such as Teams or we'll say WebEx or any of the other platforms. Um, so it's delivered using a, a video and, and audio collaboration program, uh, but we also use a tool called Mural, which allows us for on-time, real-time um, collaboration in a space that mirrors what we might do in a room with post-it notes and flip charts and, and templates and, and all kinds of interactive tools. So it's also um, supported by this tool called Mural. And what happens in the course is we really look at um, how as a group, as a, as a cohort in the class, we can learn and practice these skills hands-on. So again, that we have the, the skills and, and knowledge, not only to pass the certification exam, but to change the way that we work and to improve the way that, that we're working in our day-to-day -day experience and delivering uh, things that matter to the customers. So we do things such as stakeholder mapping, conduct interviews. Um, in one of the responsibilities of product owner in the Scaled Agile framework is something called uh, um, program increment planning. So something's done you know, about once a quarter, but in this particular course, we do this cross functional planning and problem solving together using this tool called Mural. So that we're actually getting hands-on with a real scenario, with a real problem um, as a group and learning from each other. All this to prepare you for the exam, but really most importantly, to prepare you to, to go back to the office or back to your organization and, and um, look at things in a different way. And really to practice some new leadership skills more collaboratively and cross-functionally. Wonderful. Peter, I think this is uh, just, I've been speaking with some of the people who attended your training class. They really love the hands-on training you provided them. So, you know, for someone to be in your class, aside from, you know, taking an exam to have a certificate or a credential, you know, they will have hands-on skills and to be in a class that shines a light and then, you know, to walk away uh, looking at products and customers, not only projects. So I think this is a complete meal deal. And I appreciate you speaking to us to produce this audio clip. And I hope, uh, you know, our audience will listen with their inner ear to get a grasp of this course and sign up for it. Peter, thank you so much. Well, thanks, Gabe. I'm looking forward to the next course. Yes, look forward to it. Have a great day. You too.